Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and in this video, I'm going to show you some points of interest along the McKinsey and Liard highways in Northwest Territories that starts out at the town of Enterprise, which is just south of Hay River, where I did my last video. And my first stop is at the McNally Creek Falls. So first I'm going to show you the waterfalls, which I think will amaze you. They have posted here a letter from the Department of Public Works, where they are suggesting what to name this creek and the falls. By the way, this is just a few steps from the highway, so you don't have to hike off a long way to see it, which is nice. Next, we're going to see the Lady Evelyn Falls. You can read this if you like. Just pause the video.
Hello folks. Sorry to interrupt your viewing of the waterfalls with this transition to me talking. But I've got some good news and some bad news about this video. The good news is there is one more waterfall about 105 miles further west on this road, the McKenzie Highway, and it's called the Samba Day Falls. It's, it's S-A-M-B-A-A, -A, second word D-E-H, and it's at the Samba Day Falls Territorial Park where there is also a campground. It's about 105 miles from this last waterfall you're watching, which is the Lady Evelyn Falls to the Samba Day Falls. And the Samba Day Falls is just as spectacular as the other two falls. I did a video of it and then I went further down the road and I kept going and I then I transitioned to the Liard Highway which goes south and then I stopped at a campground called the Blackstone Territorial Park and I did a video there of uh, views of the Liard River. I think it's pronounced Liard. <laughs> and I explained why I decided not to stay there at the Liard River at the Blackstone Tutorial Park. And then I went further down south and where I did stay was on the banks of the Fort Nelson River at a rest area that was right next to the bridge where the highway that I'm on crosses over the Fort Nelson River. And I did a video there of the river and the rest area where I was and explained a few things. Now the bad news. As I was editing this video, my video editor program crashed on me and then when I got it going again, it would not read my memory card from the camera. My camcorder I use for all my videos uses this tiny little memory card. <laughs> and somehow the editing software just got something fouled up in here and now my camera won't even read the card again. So I lost the three segments of this video. One of the Samba Day Falls and the Blackstone Territorial Park campground and then the Fort Nelson River where I did stay the night. And I've tried like everything to recover those files and I just haven't been able to. I would like to go back and redo those <laughs> videos but that means traveling another 250 miles on dirt road because this whole area from Hay River to Fort Nelson is about 500 miles and about half of that 250 miles is on a dirt and gravel road and that was really grueling <laughs> and when I finally got to my place that night got off of the gravel roads it got dust in every little crook and nanny inside my motorhome and I spent all day long cleaning it <laughs> so as much as I'd like to redo those videos I'm not going to go through that again now if you are going to be driving from the states to Alaska I would suggest that you take this little bit of a diversion to Hay River Northwest Territories which is at the Great Slave Lake and I did a video two videos at Hay River and then you take the McKenzie Highway over to the Fort Simpson Junction and from there you take the Liard Highway down to Fort Nelson and even though it's going to mean 250 miles on a dirt road you get to see three very fine waterfalls just on that part of it and then from Edmonton Alberta going up to Hay River there's two more waterfalls so in doing this extra loop around in the Northwest Territories you get to see five really spectacular waterfalls 
Two of them are on a previous video that I did just before I got to Hay River. And then two on this video should be three. So I decided to take this extra trip. It's some extra miles, but I think it's worth it. If you can stand some dirt roads and if you like waterfalls. So I just wanted to let you know this situation. Good day, folks.